Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Dusty here. Today we are going to be in Streamlabs and I'm going to be giving you guys a full tutorial on how to set up Streamlabs, how to utilize it with YouTube and Twitch, how to get your alerts and donations and all of that stuff going. Now, Streamlabs is just an exterior tool that integrates really well with your streaming platform or the tools that you use to normally stream. So for me, that's OBS. So obviously it's called Streamlabs and obviously it's going to help you stream and make your stream, uh, I guess you would say more visually appealing and more interactive, that kind of thing. So the first thing you're going to have to do is once you go to streamlabs.com, you're going to need to log in. So it's going to allow you to log in with your YouTube account, your Twitch account, or your Facebook account. Obviously I'm going to assume that you're probably here for either Twitch or YouTube, but it'll work the same if you are here, uh, wanting to do this on Facebook as well. So I've went ahead and logged in via Twitch. Again, you have to allow Streamlabs to have access to your account. So it's going to ask you, hey, are you okay allowing this third party uh, site to access this data? Make sure you say yes. That's going to go ahead and get the ball rolling. Now, once you're here, it's going to take you to your dashboard. Now, I'm going to walk you through the different tools and features of Streamlabs. Now, I will try and put the timestamps on specific features and, you know, I guess you would say aspects of this video in the description of the video. So if you're here just for notifications, you can go directly to where that is talked about. Or if someone wants to do the Lord's work and you've watched this video, you can put those timestamps in the comment section and I will pin that to the top there. So let's go ahead and dive into it. So here is the dashboard here under the dashboard. You can see it's going to show you recent events. Uh, it's going to show you recent people who have followed you, subscribed you. It's also going to be able to give you live action. So live actions will allow you to spin a wheel for a giveaway, uh, give credits and different things like that. If you're wanting to do giveaways on your streams. Now, the beauty of the dashboard is it will let you know, here's the donation revenue. Here's the follows. Here's the subscriptions for a specific date or a specific time. Now that's a wonderful thing to have. It's great data to have. And so if you want to see any of that data, you can do all of that on your dashboard. Now underneath my donations, this is where uh, basically all of your donations will come to. Also, it'll give you a great quick link to where your URL for where people can donate. Now, in order to set up donations, let's go ahead and dive into that first. So if you go to donation settings here, uh, you'll be able to say, okay, here's my PayPal account. Go ahead and link your PayPal account here. Also, you can accept credit cards. If you click this here, go through the process of setting up credit cards. Basically, it's a a four to five step process. I have it set up over on my YouTube channel. I just don't stream on Twitch that much. It's primarily YouTube for me, but it will work the same way. Go ahead and go through that. That way you're able to accept credit cards. Now I will give you a pro tip. If you're doing this on YouTube, uh, basically only certain countries are able to give you super chats via YouTube, which is their innate donation system. If you set it up through Streamlabs, anyone can go ahead and donate through this Streamlabs link like you, what you see here. Now under settings here, it'll basically allow you to choose your currency, uh, the, the, the color that you want your button and things to look like. So all of this really is just the way you can go and customize your settings for your donations. Now, once you have all of this set up and you go to my donations, you'll be able to see here the people who have donated. That's why I like Streamlabs is because you're able to see who donated the message that they've given you in the donation and you can keep that on a separate monitor per se. That way you can go and read the donation or have the auto read settings if that's what you want to do. So the next thing I want to show you is the my subscribers tab. Obviously I'm not a Twitch streamer full time. I don't have any of these right now, but if you have subscribers, people subscribing to you, you can see a list of those subscribers here. Uh, next we're going to see shared access. Now shared access basically is if you have a team working with you. Uh, I'm not really going to dive too much deep into that right now. The next thing I want to show you is the account settings under account settings. Uh, we can see here that my Twitch is linked. Now, if you want to link another service, which I basically intentionally unlinked my YouTube, if you want to link another service, basically you go to account settings, you go to platforms and then like under YouTube here, if we go to merge and click merge, I can actually go select my YouTube channel here, go ahead and select the one that I want to merge, go ahead and allow it just like I told you guys earlier. And then that will take you back to Streamlabs. And as you can see here, my YouTube account and my Twitch account 
are both linked. Now, you'll have to set one or the other as a primary. I'm gonna go ahead and set YouTube as my primary because that's the one that I stream on the most. If we go back to your dashboard, uh, I'm gonna be able to show you a few different things here now that I've logged into uh, my YouTube channel. Um, so if we go back to my donations here, we can see some recent donations that have come in. And here's the comments that I was telling you guys about coming in. And you can export this to a, uh, a basically an Excel spreadsheet. Look at it that way if that's what you want to do. Now, probably one of the most important things that you guys want to see is how to implement the alerts, the, uh, the, the basically the events coming up on your stream when people subscribe, when people donate, when people do all of that good stuff. So let's go ahead and dive into that. So underneath widgets here, um, you're going to see all your account stuff up here. And then underneath widgets here, you're going to see alert box. You're going to see goals. You're going to see stream boss event list. We're going to focus on these first five or six here to kind of let you see kind of what you can do with Streamlabs. So if we go here and click on alert box, we're going to see a few different things. Now I've shown this uh, in an older version, but they've updated it and they've made it so much easier. So basically the alert box will allow you if we open up OBS here and then we go here and let's say we go to, I want to just change it over to this link here. Now this is what I'm looking at with OBS kind of on the side here, but you can see kind of the basically the desktop image kind of what I've gotten here on the scene that I've got set up. Now, one of the things that you are going to see is you're going to see something here that says alerts. So underneath alerts here, if we double click on that, we're going to see a URL. This URL is going to be the URL you use underneath your alerts that will allow you to show when people subscribe, when people donate. And I'll show you how to test that briefly in a minute to see how that looks. Now let's go ahead and go back over to Streamlabs. Now you can see here your alert box. First thing you need to do is you need to copy the URL. So this is going to be your widget URL right here. Basically, you can go here and copy that URL by clicking the copy button here that will allow you to copy that widget URL. The next thing you're going to do is open OBS back up and go ahead and what you're going to want to do. I'll start from the beginning, go to add here underneath sources and then go to browser source under browser source. Give it a name like Twitch alerts, Streamlabs, whatever you want to do. Click OK. Once you've done that, you then want to paste that URL right here where it says URL and then click OK. I'm not going to do it because I've already done it. Now what happens is, is I'm actually going to remove it because I don't really want that to be there. Now we can test it. I'm going to go ahead and test a subscriber. Go ahead and say test subscriber. You can test all of them right here. Click test subscriber. Go back to OBS. As you can see, Dusty Porter just subscribed. What a beautiful thing that is. So test all the different ones, subscribers, sponsors, super chat. Same thing works there. If we click super chat, it'll show, you know, how much they gave through super chat. Again, it allows you to do all of that. Now, if you want to basically edit the way that looks, so I've got a little zombie guy coming up and things like that. You may not want that. So basically, what you do underneath here, underneath the general settings there, you can actually break it down to what it looks like when someone donates, what's it looks like when someone subscribes, what's it looks like when someone sponsors or gives you a super chat. Now, I prefer the little zombie guy. You can use whatever you want to use. Basically, you can go here. You can change the way the layout looks. You can change the way the animation fades in and fades out. You can even change the text here. If you want to say just subscribe, they're awesome. You can text that here. Uh, you can even do the text animation. You can change it from a wiggle to a wave to a wobble, whatever you want it to look like. You can basically come in here and even add your own image or your own gift that you've created and have that come up. That's something that I am actually working on now. Uh, and I'm not sure you guys can hear in this tutorial video, but there's actually an alert sound as well, which is kind of letting me know, Hey, someone just did something in action on your stream. You can adjust the volume of that here. You can do and change the alert duration to, you know, from eight seconds to 10 seconds. Again, all of the customization options for your alerts will be done here underneath media sharing right here. Uh, and then under general settings that will adjust all of them. Now the background color needs to be obviously the green color here. But again, once you've copied this link, you've added it with an OBS, you need to go ahead and launch it. That way it knows to basically use that alert box 
underneath the browser source. Now, when you launch it, it's just going to look like this. It's going to look like a green screen like this here. That's what allows it to be transparent and allows you to put it on top of your stream. And then what I do is I just minimize it and that way I don't have to worry about it ever again. So that's how you go when you basically work with your alerts within Streamlabs. Next, I want to go to event list. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have seen uh, on streams before where people have this come up and pop up here where it's like basically showing people who've donated gives you a current list of people who have done actions on the stream. Now, uh, this is a separate widget URL. So uh, what you would have to do uh, is basically here, if we go to say, let's say, let's test a subscriber, done that there, go back here and you can see someone has subscribed, but you're not seeing the list there. So what you'll have to do is go here and copy this actual URL, which is going to be separate from your alert box. And then what you can do is open OBS and do exactly what I told you to guys to do earlier. Go to browser source, give it a name, click OK, go ahead and paste that URL in there, click OK. And now what's going to happen is, as you can see, it's going to show me how it looks here. I'll kind of center it here, or I might even put it here next to my cam. And now what I'll do is I'll close out of that. And then if I go to say test subscriber, go back here, it's going to show you now who is subscribed. It's going to give you a list of those people wherever you want that on screen on stream. So it kind of gives you a current list of what's going on in stream. Again, if that's something that you want to do now, the last uh, alert, or I guess you would say stream action I want to show you is going to be your donation ticker. Now, again, this is going to be a separate URL. All of these widget URLs are separate. So once you click on them here under widgets, uh, basically it'll allow you to insert a donation ticker at the top or bottom of your stream. So again, all we'll have to do is go to copy, go ahead and copy that URL, navigate back over to OBS, go ahead and add a new browser source. All of this is going to be done through browser source, type in donations, if that's what you want to title it, and then go ahead and click OK. Now what you're going to do is you want to copy and paste that URL again, click OK. And then now what you can do is you can have that ticker at the top or the corner of your basically whatever you want it to look at. So if we go here, uh, you know, make it bigger if you want to make it bigger and then drag that to say the top of your stream. So if we want it to go there and kind of navigate off the screen, we'll make it a little bit bigger. So it kind of goes, if the, you know, you can again, adjust these the way that you want them. A lot of people actually have them going uh, over the top of their cam, kind of like that there. Uh, but as you can see at the bottom, I already have a ticker text at the bottom here, but that's kind of how you would set up a donation if that's kind of what you would want to do, the little ticker for your donations. So that's how that is done. Now, there are a bunch of other great features under the widgets here. You've got stream labels. Uh, these here actually just add different kind of labels to your streams. You've got the jar, which gives you like the little jar here you've seen people used. Uh, when people tip or super chat to you uh, on the stream, it'll fill up the cup with little bits and things like that. You can add that here. Again, works the same way. Go up here, copy the URL, and then add that to your stream. If you want to do a chat box. This one's pretty cool. Actually, it allows you to add a, uh, a transparent chat box to your stream. Uh, and again, you would use it the same way you've used your other widgets. You'd go in here, you'd copy that URL, paste it into OBS, and it allows your chat to kind of come up and down on the actual stream where the actual stream can see uh, on your stream, people chatting and being active uh, basically within your stream. The viewer count gives you a view count. Uh, you can add one for YouTube and Twitch if you're streaming on both of them. Them. If you want to know how to stream on both of those platforms, view my video that I recently did on how to use Restream.io. Uh, then we also have a spin wheel. Uh, this will allow you to uh, navigate and do giveaways for t-shirts and different products that maybe you've been sponsored to do. You can also add a wish list uh, for people to help you and donate and things like that. Now, again, these are the big features within Streamlabs. Uh, so again, this is what I use uh, when it comes to uh, when it comes to what I use for. I guess you would say like if, if we go back to my dashboard here, as I kind of tell you guys this stuff, uh, Streamlabs for me uh, has been very helpful to kind of help me stay interactive with my chat, with my stream. And I love streaming. I love live streaming. I think it is the future. Uh, and so if you are a streamer, uh, I do think that this is going to help you going with, you know, going forward. So as you can see here under recent events, it'll show you recent subscriptions. It'll show you also people who've donated what they've donated through, whether it's super chat. Uh, that's why I always kind of navigate to my dashboard periodically throughout the week. That way I can see what's going on. Um, and then you can see here the different YouTube super chats, the different donations amounts and different things broken down within your dashboard. Now there's a lot more to Streamlabs and alerts and things like that than just 
just this. If you have any questions, you can definitely put those in the comment section down below. I want to help you with any of those that I possibly can. I want to help you get your message heard. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button if I've been helpful for you. Hopefully I have. Share this video with your friends and family. And until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And I will talk to you guys in the next one.